Hey, what's up? My name is Colby Sharp. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall madly in love with reading. I am really excited to talk to you today about David Levithan's middle grade writing debut, The Mysterious Disappearance of Aiden S. as told to his brother. You probably know David's work from his amazing young adult novels. And this is his first published middle grade novel. And I was really excited to read it. I love seeing creators go from young adult to my readers, the middle grade readers. It's so much fun. And we've seen so many authors do it with tremendous success, whether it's Julie Murphy or Jason Reynolds uh, or Nick Stone. So many of them have, have come down to these younger readers and hit home runs, which is really fun because if you fall in love with a reader when you're 12 and then they have books for you when you're 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, just, it's just really a special thing. Uh, this is a story of Lucas and his brother Aiden. And at the beginning of the book, Aiden is missing and he has been gone for six days. And the mother, the father, and Lucas have no idea where he's at. Like they are completely lost. They're terrified. Everyone in, in town is looking. The police are looking. It's all over the news. It's really, really scary. And then all of a sudden, Lucas finds him in the attic. Like he hears something and finds him in the attic. And everyone is really happy and excited and just so thankful that he is back. He's in one piece, he seems to be okay. And then obviously the next question is, well, where have you been? What happened? Were you abducted? Like, what's going on? And uh, we can find out Aiden's story is that he went through a dresser drawer in the attic, went through like the dresser in the attic into a magical land, a different dimension, a different world. And as you can imagine, the parents think he's not telling the truth and the police officers are very confused and his brother doesn't know what to think um it's it's wild and uh it's just this amazing book about the this like believing in someone and believing someone that you love and that you trust and also what happens when other people don't believe someone and when Aiden gets to school he makes up like another story to tell his friend knowing that no one's going to believe this story uh, but then it gets out, uh, someone has shared the police report where it says that Aiden was with unicorns and things and then like the whole town turns on him because they're like, we were looking for you, we were doing all this stuff and now you are making this up. And I just can't stop thinking about this relationship between these two brothers and how this boy Aiden who is was gone for six days, which was really 30 days in this land that he was in, 30 or so days in this land that he was in and how like no one believes him um, but his brother and his brother is almost like looking for reasons to believe him and looking for reasons to trust him and now there's also an aunt that lives away in the city and, and she is it feels like totally behind him in understanding where Aiden is coming from not sure whether or not she believes him but it's just wild and it's wild to see everyone turn on this child and then it has this crazy wild ending that is just like perfect and magical. And it reminds you um, what can happen in a middle grade novel. And you, it's one of those books where you're just like trying to get to the end to find out what happened. And you're wondering if you will be satisfied. And that's about you, the middle-aged reader. Uh, but I was, I loved the ending. I loved the entire book. I loved these characters. I loved just this, these brothers. And even the parents were so interesting, like as they were trying to deal with, you know, their son being gone for six days and trying to figure out, well, what really happened? And they want to like support their son, but they're also like getting more and more frustrated with things. And like, as like the news crews start showing up and they get lots and lots of phone calls, there's this really wild encounter at school when Aiden uh, and his brother go back to school after taking a couple days off. It's just a really great book. I think this would make an amazing read aloud. I think there could be some really special conversations around this book. I think that there is some readers in this world that are going to fall hard for this book. It's gonna be one of those books that they remember all the way into adulthood. And I think Aiden is a character and Lucas is a character that readers are going to love getting to know. So if you are looking for an amazing book, and this one to your to read list. The Mysterious is Appearance of Aiden S. You won't regret it, I promise. I am so excited to hear what you think. So when you do get a chance to read this book, 
Come back, let me know in the comments what you thought. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in.